So if you have not watched the previous video on the mobiles network and the credit cards previous videos, please do check out which network and which credit card is good. I have shared already and I, now I'm again going to speak the credit card details from my experience uh, over three years, around three years and critically evaluated from your feedback and uh, the friends from you in the channel and even outside uh, when I interact with the students. So these are the credit cards I filtered out and uh, which are easy to get, which are complicated to get. What are the recommendations? I will speak in this video, the best credit cards in Japan. What are the best credit cards in Japan for foreigners? And uh, how do you think about credit cards uh, as a foreigner? What is the easy services? And some things nobody shared in online, I'm sharing it for you. So <laughs> it's from my experience and I recently stopped using one of the credit card. I'll be speaking all these details. Please follow me until the end. I'll put it straight to the point and uh, I may continue this series because there's a lot of things to speak. Maybe one video I may don't get time to completely speak and I may miss some points. Please follow me in this video and I'll continue the specific topics later. For now, let's speak all and then compare everything briefly and then let's see how it goes. So credit cards. Most of the time if you come to Japan and if you hear about it and if you search online, you'll get these details uh, mostly. Any uh, like two three websites you search the best credit cards like keywords mostly you'll get these suggestions all these suggestions fall into these categories right mostly it will fall in one of these categories I mean it will they will recommend these cards only so there are Akuten credit card Saison credit card experientially we have seen it's uh, user friendly for foreigners and uh, easy to get that's what people say and uh, now recently i added smbc card uh, recommendations more because of some certain observations in the previous video if you watch where i have speak about all these uh, cards and i concluded smbc card i think uh, now i'll speak a bit more about rocketing card also and uh, pepe card it's also another crazy and easy thing to get for foreigners uh, though it is uh, difficult in other cards selection and JCB, Visa, MasterCard, these three cards, uh, types of cards. And American Express, I'm not speaking too much, but yeah, that is also there. You can think about using if you want. Uh, first thing, let's see about Rakuten card and size and card. So Rakuten card is basically, you can apply by yourself and basically it uh, doesn't even verify your uh, ID proof and they won't even meet you. Uh, that's what I've seen and some, of, some people... Uh, uh, got it uh, with ID proof verification. Some people received without ID proof verification. I have my card and I received uh, two cards. One is JCB, one is Visa from Rakuten. This is also another recommendation. Please for, listen to me carefully. The Visa and JCB cards, better to have same company or any company, two cards, uh, same limit. But uh, JCB card will give you additional benefits when you go to airports and lounges sometimes. So people recommend to have some services will be focused for particular network particular uh, service jcb card service and uh, sometimes visa then rakuten and it has all these brands smbc doesn't have jcb brand i couldn't find um, to use maybe i don't know if it is really not there the wallet type credit cards which is payday and uh, pepe and amazon card and Borico card these things are like a valid type. So from the application, you can enable and buy this card. That's basically the application based, debt based credit cards. I have used PayD and I'll be speaking PayD trading and Apple purchase with detail in another video. I got Apple 13 Pro and recently I changed to 15 Pro with this, they have option to upgrade without uh, continuing the no cost EMI. So I'll be sp speaking those things. So better follow me that video also if you are interested or if you're willing to stay in Japan or if you want to know about Japan, please listen to that video later. So for now, okay, Rakuten card, this service is the service, the account and the SIM card, all these are same account on login. You can do all things and they're even recommending recently to you open the bank account. They are giving some services, uh, better services like that they are saying, but I need to check whether I will go for it, I am not sure, but for now I am not using. I have credit card and uh, SIM card and I got many points because of that. <laughs> Next one, ePost credit card. So my friend used this ePost credit card. So drawbacks for Rakuten card, uh, I will tell you after a few minutes, all these cards, what I experienced. 
So EPOS card is under uh, Sison, I, my friend told. So he used and it was uh, having uh, the English support. Though, so they are saying it is good for us without speaking Japanese. And they have interpreter and uh, it's good like that they are saying. But uh, I don't have any experience but I heard it's um, reasonably easy to get for foreigners without challenges. So maybe think about it. And uh, Orico, PayD, Amazon, PayPay. PayPay is lit relatively easy to get, but uh, Visa scrutiny is same. Visa and Mastercard is uh, same selection categories, what you call. But uh, PayD also similar. Some people had rejections. Uh, Orico card is similar to PayD. My Orico card application rejected. I didn't try again in the beginning, and maybe I did some mistakes. Uh, Imagine card is also reasonably easy to get. I think I, I didn't apply, but uh, it's a valid based card I could think about. JCB card uh, I bought through Pepe and I blocked recently so because uh, yeah let me speak drawbacks here uh, SMBC I will tell on the go together so JR view card is also there that is also good and the JAL card also get, you can get uh, that's also possible so SMBC they don't have charges uh, NL card and there is no number display that is a good option and JCB card also sorry Pepe also it's good there is no number but uh, my difficulty with uh, JCB, uh, Pepe and uh, Rakuten and uh, SMBC. So SMBC, uh, the updates are very quick and some of the services we can do by ourselves by online with Google Chrome, maybe with translator. They do some services without even talking to them, just uh, verifying your authenticity, the OTP. That was good for me and the uh, monthly balance reset happens immediately, let's say midnight, 12 o'clock, automatic. That was good for me because if I need to buy something next day or if I want to book some tickets, if I want the limit to be resetted, I can do it in, in without no difficulty and even the I can pay with the ATMs and that gets credited to my card if there is some revolving pay or any other pay, I can pay early and its uh, refreshment is very quick, the init uh, initial update is very quick. and. Uh, also the bank transport or card update directly with the card from the ATM. The, v, uh, the application, VPass application is very convenient in SMBC. PayPay uh, and the Rakuten Pay, it actually takes uh, two, three days to get visible the, to get, vis what to say, to get updated the, the paid, uh, the status in the card statement. So that was a little bit not okay for me. But if you're okay with that, you can try. But uh, you want to see the update quickly so I can ignore it, the process and all. <laughs> so that's my experience and I don't like this pay that refreshing date. So I just closed it and uh, he bought Rocketin JCB card. Mm, like my friends, uh, we speak sometimes. So it is good to have two cards. So one card you can put for a particular purchase, uh, like let's say all shoppings in one card and big shoppings in another card. Mm, monthly, like each shop, each car, each shop, like you buy some things, like small, small things, you can use one card and you can use second card for bigger shopping. So that's uh, one way my friends are using. Even I felt good to think about it. So Rakuten card and JSMBC is what I'm using. Additionally, I like Rockton card uh, service even though the review was stronger but uh, it was good. I use uh, student version, the previous uh, university cop uh, Rockton, sorry SMBC. They have some limited uh, limitation in the card but NL card regularly if you apply online it's possible. The trick is uh, what I found even from my friend from Rockton also the auto rejection happens many times that's why many foreigners don't get uh, the cards. So the selection, many times it's based on your salary, annual salary and whom you are staying with. Let's say your part-time income or full-time income, uh, the salary is plus, you are living with alone or family. These two factors is what I heard, it's a major factor. So you can put little uh, balance with your amount around, you may have some numbers, put that limit. Projected, after try again with uh, slightly change the number uh, within your salary range. And, Maybe it should be accurate, but 100% uh, we cannot show, right? People may don't disclose. So I have the limit maybe better for the approval. And they give minimum limit and then they increase. So SMBC NL, they give uh, 100,000 yen um, first, but within six months or so, you can improve, increase the limit to 300,000. Most of the students' applications, so it is not a big deal. You can improve, you can increase the limit. And for employees, it, it will increase uh, 
600,000, I know some men friends that are using 600,000. Some people have a 10, have even bigger, 10 million, 10K, mm, 100,000, 600, 10, 1,000, 5, 0, 0, 0, so 10 lakhs. So that's uh, my observations and suggestions. I hope it helped for you. So I recommend strongly go for a Rakuten card because they are also growing and we also want to grow. Go for a Rakuten card, a Rakuten credit card, apply for it and uh, get your card uh, sooner. And uh, within the brands, Visa, JCB and MasterCard, if you want to travel abroad or maybe if you have visits or conferences, better to have one Visa or MasterCard plus JCB. JCB will be useful within Japan in various ways from my seniors I heard. I am going to check. Again, I, I have one JCB card, so you can use same, let's say, SMBC, Sumitomo Mitsui, Sumitomo Mitsui Bank, some SMBC Bank, Corporation, ATM, no, sorry, credit card, or a couldn't credit card, use the brands. So within the same card, you can buy two brands. Uh, SMBC, I didn't see JCB brand, but uh, Rakuten, you can get it. PayPay, also you can get it, so you can apply. PayPay, I closed my account with credit card, but yeah, Mm, you can get it. It's uh, possible if you fill the palms properly. Sison and EPOS, I didn't experience, but uh, with the feedback I shared you what I observed. Mm, Orico, PayD. PayD is a big topic. I'll speak, actually, I'll speak uh, some more details. Like there are some smart ways to live in Japan. I'll share those details also in the next videos. Please do stay, uh, follow my updates and stay tuned. Nimble Prerina, please subscribe and support Nimble Prerina in Japan. Now Japan, <laughs> I'll keep speaking more updates. Have a good day. Thank you.